Tron. So do you think you could run that whole thing by me one more time about where the light goes or whatever it is? Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Say it again. Say it to my fucking face. Brother, help me! Wow, bootleg Mufasa. You sure do suck, and I wish I never invited you over. I don't like it! Okay, look, just as a heads up, I think something's wrong with your friend bootleg Zazu over there. You might want to check it out. Oh, hey! It's Bootleg Jacques! What do you got for us today, buddy? Tally ho! I've come bearing news from the higher-ups! Please advise! Oh, thanks. You will never know my suffering! Forever trapped inside this robotic husk! Alright, that's great, Jacques. I'll see you later. What do we have here? Oh, look at that! A cease and desist from Disney. Yeah, that's probably about right. Alright! You two, get the hell out of my house. It's over. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Disney's lawyers could get to me a little too easily. But I'll tell you what is much farther away from U.S. jurisdiction and far better at Disney bootlegging. China! Such examples of their bootleggery include Bear of the Interest, the self-purported baby's toy and also High Class Weapon, who farts his uh, very well-known catchphrase, please play under the adult inspect to protect. Okay, don't pretend, everyone knows that one. There is not a chance I'm interested in this bear! Yes, even a company like Disney, who is well known to be so very protective of its brands, wasn't exempt from the video game bootlegging phenomenon, much to their dismay. These games, as usual, take all forms and are generally cobbled together, producing hilarious results much of the time. So let's have ourselves a mag mag magical <laughs> day. <laughs> First off, let's have a look at some bootlegs based on the Lion King films, starting with, quite simply, a game called The Lion King. Hmm, copyright the Walt Disney Company. Well, at least they were nice enough to attribute it to the right people. Uh, that music. I don't think that's the Lion King. Mowgli begins his journey through the lion to find the man village. Mowgli, huh? The true, true to whole lion, huh? Also, Mowgli's head is down here. Why is this just the Jungle Book? This is just the Jungle Book game for NES with minor things changed. Like, instead of Mowgli, it's a bipedal lion that doesn't look like anything from the Lion King. Y you're still ripping off Disney with the Jungle Book. Why didn't you just rip off a Lion King game? This is some ass-backwards logic. Well, if you can't beat him, join him. Okay, next up we have another one, The Lion King 5. Don't know where 3 and 4 went. I'm sure they'll give some sort of synopsis for those of us who missed out. Timon is really having a good time here, okay? You can tell by that mad flailing. In this game, you can select from three characters, Timon, Simba, and Pumbaa. Simba and Pumbaa look correct, but Timon has no ears and is wearing a bow tie. Like, what? You got the reference right on the other two. What's wrong with Timon? Oh dear God, it's Walking Fingers. I mean, have you guys seen the movie? Uh, you couldn't have just put something here that wasn't Walking Fingers. A lizard, you know, a wildebeest. Not Walking Fingers is the main point I'm trying to make. This game is basically a reproduction of the one for Super Nintendo, but it controls much worse and it's super glitchy. Sometimes you can get farther by manipulating the edge screen scroll. It's pretty wacky. It's so God, hard to control. God damn it, no! Ah, out of lives. Me. Simba fucking hangs himself when you get a game over? He just steps into a noose. He didn't even kick over a chair. The earth beneath him just gives way. Yes, as you see it, this game is apparently infamous for its ridiculous game over sequences, which also include Timon crying while digging his own grave and Pumbaa jumping into a pot of scalding water. Somebody made this, folks. This is real. I can't understand. The rest of the game is pretty standard. It's not meant to be shocking or anything. Maybe they just thought that made sense? <laughs> what can I say? Circle of life? Circle of death, huh? 
because you know it's a, it's a circular. I can't live in this world anymore. I sucked the bone, bury himself while crying. I sucked the pumba, cook himself. It's over for me. Ah, uh, never mind. I'll keep going. I got the Lion King 2 on Genesis here. Okay, how can I say no to that face? They're getting very close to just calling it the Lion King and having it be about the Lion King. Very close. We're almost there. Now, most bootleg games of this nature are made with recycled sprites and assets. But this one here is unique in that it was made from the ground up as its own game. You never know what you're gonna get with this. From the day we arrived on the planet I was scared of Mufasa's face Seriously! Maybe they could have taken some of the face they gave to Mufasa and funneled it into little Simba over here. Looks like he got his head door slammed by Uma Thurman and killed Bill. Hmm, the Lion King is looking markedly more, uh, how you say Chinese this time around. <laughs> what was that pussy shit? Get the fuck out of here! Alright, whatever, that's a little better, I guess. I'm not gonna scold you twice in a row, whatever. The Lion King 2, we're in China now. Deal with it. Zone 1, Gwil In? What the hell is Gwil In? Well, I guess this is Gwil In. Good old Mufasa over here seems to get the joke, huh? Once again, given that this game was made from the ground up, I don't understand why every single enemy has nothing to do with the Lion King. This one kind of works on Mario rules. If you grab the BIG BALL OF GAS, you turn into older Simba, and if you get hit, you turn into smaller Simba. Ah, crap. I died. Wait, what? Why? Why again with the brutality? He's just hanging here again from a rope, this time not around his neck, granted. He's clinging to dear life while ominous music plays. I mean, do, do the Chinese just resent Simba or something? You can tell this game is supposed to play like the SNES version of Lion King, which the sprite of Simba is directly ripped from, but it can't quite pull it off. Jumps are hard, everything is floaty, and it's overall just pretty tedious. Ah, oh, yes! Chin's tomb! How could I forget? The terracotta soldiers really tied it all together. And Scar was there. Yeah, around here they start getting too cute with their level design. It's like making a linear platformer wasn't enough for them. They had to show off their programming skills too. Like in this level, you come to a dead-end door that makes a weird noise when you show up to it. Come on, what is this, a glitch? What a joy. So after like 30 literal minutes of me running around wanting to blow my brains out, I finally figured out what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to kill all the enemies in the section you're in, and only then will the door open up for you. But good luck, baby, because that's only door number one. Out of like 200. Ah! Ah, no! Go! Stop it! Not to mention, you end up going back and forth between the same doors on accident because it all looks the same. Also, why is this game set in Imperial China? The longer I play, the angrier I get about it. How the lions walk from Africa to there, it's pretty far. I honestly don't know why I'm still torturing myself by playing this. I've been here for over six hours and I've got nothing to show for it. All my life, leading up to this moment, has been worth it. Every last second. I am truly blessed. Beep, beep, beep! Oh, sorry! What's that? Oh, that's just a you can't make this shit up alarm! Get out of my brain! No, guys, honestly, come on. If you're wondering where this imagery of Simba cruising atop a swastika laden blimp comes from, well, it's very simple, okay? Hitler was a big fan of the Disney Renaissance. <laughs> Anyways, after that life changer, you just walk off screen to the right and the game ends. What a way to go. Hey, don't you see? The final boss was confronting the Nazi inside of all of us. Hell, I think at least. I don't know. That's all I got. Okay, moving on from The Lion King, we have Mulan for Genesis. Hey, calm down, Mushu, would you? Maybe tread a little more lightly. Some people are trying to sleep around here. Wanna be a man? Well, I mean, I don't know. I I've considered it. I don't know if I'm ready to make the decision, though. But thanks for the offer. If you haven't seen the movie, this is a horribly mistranslated reference to the song Be a Man from Mulan. But hey, at least they're trying to give us the option, huh? All right, the game starts. And of course, they don't use the song that this level is based on. Why would they? What the f 
fuck? You know those people. They're your friends. Yeah, in, in the movies, she's friends with these characters, but I guess in the world of pirated games, it's just a free-for-all. Oi, what is this? A Freddy Krueger glory hole? The absolute most I can say for this game is that at least it attempts to be somewhat familiar with the subject matter. The characters look pretty convincingly like they could be from an actual Disney licensed game, so, alright. Greatest Wall. Nah. It's completely subjective. <laughs> No planet. Yeah, as you know, Mulan has always been the best sci-fi. <laughs> and he's dead. All right, nice job, guys, except for on those hearts. They're terribly, terribly asymmetrical, and you should be ashamed. Hey there, John. Who are you? I'm the Great Bootleg. That's hokey. An old JonTron was better. Wanna see something real bad? No. Too bad, bitch. Dying, 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 death, death, help, help, barf, 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 no one can stop the pain, please can you stop the pain? Oh, that's gross, man, what the hell? Oh, horrific. And then magically, John got the box of that disc. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. Okay, every now and then, you see something you just can't believe is real. This is one of those moments. How could anyone have let this happen? Seven clever boys? Are, are these the boys? They don't look so clever. Uh, come to think of it, neither does anyone in this picture. They look like they were the result of a brother and sister who liked each other maybe just a little too much. This is an actual licensed game for the PS2. Shit, I would have preferred Lion King 2 over this nonsense. Oh, this is real, all right. Look at that menu screen. Okay, we got a confused starfish, an artistic crab, a very stupid alligator, and this thing. Also, we got the main cast here in the middle feeling very stranded and very helpless to amend the situation they're in. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys! What is that fucking name? Who made this? I'm not gonna get over that. I, I absolutely guarantee you I'm never gonna get over that name. I'm a clever boy. Put me in, huh? Put me on that. Get me in that. But I digress. This game starts off with like a film. Not quite so long ago, and not so far away, Near back the 7th to town, to across back the 7th to menu, river, back to menu, there was a beautiful menu, forest, menu. kept perfectly in order by seven clever and thoughtful young boys. And here they are. And here they are! Let's get right to it, come on! First, there was Cubby, who was like a small bear. A small bear? In what sense is this child like a small bear? He's not even wearing a bear on a t-shirt or anything. And then there was Big Basil, who was huge. Well, for a boy, he was huge. Ah, it's too late, narrator! You already called Kid Fat! It's not going back! And then Sonny, who took care of the plants and the animals. What? And was also a very racist depiction of a black person. This game was approved by Sony with that in it? Nice call, guys. Really good one. Also, maybe, you know, next time don't take too much fashion advice from Uncle Sam and the Harlem Globetrotters. Now this is my song. I'll sing it now. Oh, sick lyrics, dude. Sick song! Get me out of here. Get me out of here right now. The real game, if you could call it that, is just absolute nothingness. It's literally just mini games of sliding puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, and coloring books. I don't know what convinced someone that this is the thing that they should make for the world to see. But you out there who made this, I got one thing to say to you, alright? Follow your dreams, but not this hard. Don't, don't follow them so hard that this happens, but follow your dreams. Well done. Back to menu. Next. Well, I think we covered it all. I think that's everything. Let it go! Let it go! Don't hold it back anymore! Another letter? Huh. I feel unexplained joys and sorrows, but alas, I am synthetic. All right, Chuck, come on, I'm doing something here. Dress up who? Oh, I gotcha. This was a mistake! Well, actually, Dress Up Who is a website, I guess, 
with dress up games and girl games. We got poo kitchen slacking, it's girl games. We got clean up horse farm too, no boys allowed. Also, I gotta check out clean up horse farm one sometime, sounds, sounds pretty good. Easily the most fascinating thing about this website is its section on frozen games, which there are so many of, but nothing. Nothing comes close to the majesty of the crowning jewel of this website. The one, the only, Elsa! Frozen Brain Surgery! Frozen. Brain. Surgery. What? I cannot even fathom this. At this moment, I'm truly dumbfounded. It's elegant. It's wonderful. It's got a low chance of survival. Oh my god, right there? Right in the right in the brain. Okay. Nighty night, Elsa. It's magical. Well, I, Elsa, I think I, I I see the problem. I see where where, where you might where you might be having some problems. Just gonna just gonna remove these off of you, Elsa. Just don't worry. Okay. The rock. We're getting the rock right out of your brain. And like nothing ever happened. This game was barely girly enough for me. I'm gonna need to see a more great girl games, please. You know. This is fucked right up. There she is. Let's measure that baby. How big is that baby? Yeah, that's about that's the size of a baby, everyone. Yeah, that baby's got a heart too. Unlike the creator of this shit. How many of these are there? Is this a thing? Is this just like an unknown genre? <laughs> what the fuck? No! You are the most adorable baby in the world. I wouldn't say that. Oh my god, you're just gonna walk away? You're gonna turn somebody's baby into a zombie and just gonna you know, dawdle away? Your beautiful baby has a fucking hand coming out of his head now you're just gonna look mildly disappointed she, when she just walks away? Is, is there a procedure for a zombification of baby? Just put a little ointment on it? Yeah, get some of that. Just drop that in the petri dish. Get that horn. Yeah, take the hand off. See, that was really bugging me. Oh, he's fixed. What the hell is this? Elsa, don't give me that cheeky look. All right, you got yourself into this mess. I'm the one helping you get out of it. You're not doing me any favors here. Elsa baby birth. Elsa milking cow. Pregnant Elsa foot check. Oh my God! Ah! Absolutely horrific. Elsa, what have you been doing out there? Why this? Why pregnant foot doctor? How do these concepts sync up? At least there's a nice snowman in the background. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, gee. Oh, Lord in heaven. Why? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna actually throw up. I'm not even... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. I'm actually gonna barf. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> I can firmly say uh, I didn't like Frozen 4, but that was a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Gonna go watch that movie again, give it, give it, a, give it a two thumbs up. I'm scarred for life. That, that, that's, this is not a joke. This is not a part of the program. This is for real. I'm, I'm... I can still see it. Get out of my brain. <laughs> wow, what a ride! Thanks for watching! This episode of JonTron was sponsored by the wonderful people at Loot Crate. They are a monthly subscription box service that specializes in pop culture and gamer gear. They guarantee over $40 worth in value in each box. You get about four to eight mystery items in there. Some are limited edition, and you get at least one t-shirt with every box. They got a theme every month. This one is power. Power. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, it's a pretty cool labyrinth shirt. I'll actually wear that. Harry Potter socks. Harry Potter doesn't suck. Don't keep that. Mel Gibson. Oh wait, that's Nathan Drake. Mel Gibson. I think this is my personal favorite one by far. It's like, um, it's that old timey drink the beer thing, you know? Or just like a sacrificial, you know, ow. Ow, for real. Quest adventure awaits! You enter the forest at the darkest point where there is no path. See, honestly, just a bad idea. I think this is a 20-sided die holder. But the 20 sided die are on the inside, not the outside. That's a shame, because then you could have just rolled this as the 20 sided die. Who needs it? And also, if you're so inclined, there is the loot anime box. What do we got in here? 
Hot chili salad flavored pretz. You know you, you can't say no to that. Tokyo ghoul. Now that's ghoulishly cool. Who is this? So if you like that, you think you want it, you can use my special link, lootcrate.com slash jontron, or if you want the anime one, lootcrate.com slash jontron anime. Three dollars off on each. Get it. Before I get you. A great birthday present. <laughs> Also, if you want to watch a Digino Gaming I voiced on Disney games, click right here.